So the transfer window might not be open just yet, but the rumours are in full swing for Blackburn Rovers, including a left back. Who could it be? We'll take a little look next. All right, folks, back with another transfer rumour video today. We're going to take a look at a potential left back hotly linked with Blackman Rovers. And we'll take a little look in just one second. If you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe button back. The old things Rovers related, transfer rumours related, world football related. We're going to all hear boys under one roof. Yeah, of course, Rovers now uh, have to settle for another season uh, in the championship. But of course, maybe a bit of a transitional season uh, for, for the squad as JDT and Greg hopefully can combine their powers and bring in some new faces to get us a little bit closer to of course playoffs and, ch and promotion next season of course and we have been linked with a very very experienced left back we'll take a little look at it in just a second of course people shout out my vips they are the patrons you know who you are but of course let's take a little look at what i'm talking about of course i'm coming at uh, at this uh, latest R blackman rovers transfer room a little bit late uh especially it was broken around about uh, the first week of may 4th of may uh, actually listed here on uh, msn.com but it's been regarded uh, it does say from football leagues world but i think you can you can find a link a, a more serious uh, credible link uh, out on the transfer uh, or actually on the internet so make sure you check it all out but it is out there and of course joe bryan is the name now who if you, some of you guys might not know who joe bryan is but i'm about to dive old a little, little little bit more about the fella of course he would be uh, a left back competing with uh, harry pickering which of course uh would be good for him he hasn't really had much comp comp uh, competitiveness uh, this season of course taylor dunn clinton Molo technically were the left backs uh, a realistic con uh, competition for him this season but we did see Callum Britton uh, featuring as an uh, inverted left back something which I uh, am not a big fan of but of course it's not about me it's about Rovers and of course let's take a look at the man the myth the legend himself Joe Bryan now uh, not not many appearances uh, according to my stats right here right now just the six am I right am I right in thinking that yeah he was he is uh, technically on the books at Fulham his contract I believe is coming up uh, for renewal or of course will expire and he did play his football not in the Premier League uh, but he did play it uh, for Nice out in league. Oh, of course, just 7% in the start 11. I find that quite a, 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 a mind-boggling stat. Nice, of course, uh, had a lot of uh, ex-Premier League players in there. Kasper Schmeichel now between the sticks. Aaron Ramsey there. Some other ones are knocking on the door as well. But let's take a little closer look at him. Uh, of course, not again, he was ranked 17th best player for Nice this season. Now, that's not a good stat, really. But you've got, you've got to remember, Nice are a competitive team out in the top tier of France. It is, different, it is tough for uh, British players to make it uh, a success uh, for them on foreign soil. So the fact that he went out there uh, to give it a crack, it shows the, the cojones the, the kids got, or the lads got, or the, or the fellas got, because he, he's an older fella. Um, so the balls that he has to go out there and, and give it a go on foreign soil, you don't see it. You don't see it. You know, I'd love to see the likes of Harry Kane go out there. We are, of course, uh, uh, Bellingham is doing fantastic with Germany and will go to probably Real Madrid. Uh, but we don't see many players. If we do, it's only a handful. I am all about seeing the likes of, uh, of, of British tried and trusted players giving it a go. We are seeing some. It has increased over the last five years, five, ten years. Uh, but it's, it's been traditionally a poor uh, 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 representation for British football in general. They're just not seeing that. I know Tammy Abraham's doing great small league as well over at, uh, at Roma, but uh, we I need to see more. Uh, and I think I think if if the British players like Joe Bryan, who, who uh, give it a go, are increasing their chances of of exposure, and it is yeah, it's it's tricky. You know, I'd love to be able to pick up a new language. But anyway, enough about that. Uh, of course, 172 ranked uh, players in amongst uh, the players born in 1993. 174th ranked left back. Again, this is uh, of course around the world. 204th ranked English player. 2.69 thousandth. Uh, player worldwide, 248th best player in league, and again that's poor representation because he's only been there six six games. Not not not, not great uh, outlay for him, and that's probably why he has been considered for championship. There are a lot of clubs linking linked to him at the moment, including one of his old clubs, Bristol City. He's a favourite out there. Played 230 times for them, scored 21 goals from left back. That's not too shabby, guys. 29 assists as well. Fulham, of course, he has played for them quite handsomely. Plymouth Argyle, of course, newly promoted from League One to the championship. May also 
go back uh, in for him if if, uh, if they want to be an ambitious uh, pickup. And that is the the, the take here. He's going to come with a hefty wage. Now we we are uh, exploring the free transfer market, so uh, it does make sense. And if we do cut cut some ties with the likes of Ayala, uh, Diaz, you know, Dak maybe, uh, Kaminsky, Gallagher, Dolan. These are all players that I think are expendable. Uh, and of course, we don't want to be held to ransom uh, by some of these um, you know, players that aren't really playing week in, week out. We need, if we're going to pay top dollar, we want, we want these guys to play. Now, will he play top dollar? Will he play week in, week out? That's the question. Will Pickering see this as a, as, a, as a threat or will he just rise above it and become a better left back himself? Of course, take a little closer look at him as well. His value has peaked around about eight million pounds way back when there was a there was a, a transfer, uh, a weird scenario with with this lad. Uh, I think from Bristol City, maybe. I think he was meant to join Aston Villa. And it was done and dusted on one day. Then the next day, he joins Fulham. Uh, it was a crazy old thing. Kind of Peter Odden wingy sort of style. Uh, just, just batshit crazy uh, a day or two. But he's been valued around about that. Six to eight million pounds over the last uh, uh, couple of years. His value has now dipped somewhat to between two and, th and four million pounds. Uh, but of course, you know, uh, if we can pick him up for a, for free uh, and maybe pay a, a, an okay wage, he might be a great addition for Blackburn Rovers. Of course, currently though, uh, Harry Pickering is in the spot. Let's take a closer look, look at him. Uh, and there you can see that six games for league on this is official now. I was a little bit curious, a little bit dubious about that uh, graphic, but he's there just six games. Played Premier League 44 times over his tenure with Fulham. It's, it's, it's an okay return. He's played 62 times out in League One, 199 times out in Championship. He's got just 10 goals uh, and 25 assists. He's a good assist maker. But if those stats hold up, then of course he'll be. Uh, He'd be a good player to have. Look at that championship playoffs. Three games, two goals from left back, left wing back. I think I, I think it must have been for Fulham, right? It must have been. But anyway, as you can see, he is a, a creator. Uh, and that's what we need. If we can have, uh, you know, JRC, Callum Britton on the right-hand side uh, with these sort of similar numbers, then we've got ourselves a bit of a player. As you, and also, this is what a big thing for me. The wage scares me a little bit for this deal, but the versatility of the lad. Look at him, the positions he's played over his uh, career. Uh, he's played left mid, left back, uh, of course, centre back, defensive midfield, centre mid, right midfield, right back. He's a bit of a, 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 a versatility, but a versatile player, universal kind of player. Think if you're an old school Rovers fan like me, think Paul Warhurst, think Elliot Bennett, now maybe even think JRC in that sort of role where he can just. Play anywhere in that back uh, three there. If, if like desperate, if we're in desperado times, square peg, round hole kind of player. This is it. Uh, so you're getting a good uh, player if he is the right mould, of course. But uh, as you can see, these are the breakdowns of those of those uh, positions. Just one time at centre back, two times defensive mid. Okay, they are a little bit uh, they're a little bit minimal when, of course, when you put the grand grand picture of uh, those left back, left mid spots. Um, but he's there. He can do it. He ain't afraid. He ain't afraid to do it. Uh, I'll be interested to see how he performed in these other spots. Um, but, of course, predominantly left-sided. That's where it's all at. Let's compare the two then, of course. Current left-back, Harry Pickering. Uh, can play uh, left-back, left-mid. And in centre-mid, he's valued around about 3 million. So we've uh, got ourselves a bit of a gem there. He's only he's 24 now. He's getting on. He's getting there. He's getting there. Of course, one of the more older fellas in the team up against Joe Bryan, who is a much smaller uh, uh, character, 170. Uh, he's also uh, much older, 29. We'll be 30 this year in September. So take from that from what you will. His contract does expire in June uh, Pickering's there for a couple more seasons which is good uh, so yeah I think a chance to have a bit of competition he's, he is a winner as well I can see some bling down the bottom here for Joe Bryan uh, highest value, market value 7 million uh, of course but anyway what else do we have on these guys of course yeah comparing the market values between uh, these two uh, as well, but all in all, I think I think it's a good bit of business if Rovers are to be fortuitous in picking up this deal. It's not done and dusted. There are there are not just Bristol City. There are other clubs. He's going to be sought after. But the link is out there. To, let me know your thoughts. Do you think Joe Bryan uh, will cause a ruckus in the team? Do you think it will disrupt the harmony, or do you think? Well, I, I for one, I'm going to I'm going to let you know. Of course, well, well, why do this video if I don't put my point, my thoughts out there? I think this is a great bit of business if Rovers can get the, 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 the numbers right. 
Uh, competition for Pickering is needed. He cannot be our only real deal left back on that team. I don't want to. I don't want to have. Uh, a young kid who might be good enough to play left back. I don't want Callum Britton to be the, the alternative to, to Harry Pickering. I like left sided players and left back. I like right sided players at right back. Tim, if you want to mix it up a little bit to be a bit of a game changer, fair enough. But I do think Rovers need competition for that left back spot. Is he the answer? For right now, I think it's a good it's a good deal. Good experience. We need some of these kind of players. We had that with that guy from uh, was it Cardiff? Who 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 who, uh, who was a Preston sort of lad? Uh, I can't remember his name because he, he was injury prone. He came in injured, um, but uh, there's, there's like only a couple of real deal quality left backs out there that that would come to us. And I think Joe Bryan would be an absolute great addition. But that is my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts down below. Get the money right, and of course bring the lad in. But that's my take. Until then, guys, of course subscribe, thumbs up, hit your little bell. Non-stop Rovers content. We are back. Cranking out the content. We're not still at 100%, but we're getting there. We're getting there, guys. So subscribe, thumbs up. Let's get those numbers up. And, of course, I'll see you soon for the next one.